are back here at TikTok. Featuring biology, stay tuned and follow us for more videos. The next order under placental mammals that we will be discussing today is the order of Cetacea. Order Cetacea, any member of an entirely aquatic group of mammals commonly known as whales, dolphins, and porpoises. The ancient Greeks recognized that cetaceans breathe air, give birth to live young, produce milk, and have hair, all features of mammals. Because of their body form, however, cetaceans were commonly grouped with the fishes. Cetaceans are entirely carnivorous. Cetaceans are medium-sized to very large animals. Their forelimbs are modified into flippers with no digits or claws. Their hind limbs have been dispensed with by evolution. The tail fin is horizontal unlike fish's tails, however, cetaceans do have a fish-like appearance. Dolphins, whales and porpoises feed their newly born youngsters with milk, as all mammals do. In all instances where toothed whale births have been observed, the young have emerged tail first. This is significant, as the young one's tail may project for hours. A young cetacean with its head protruding in the water would stand the risk of being drowned. Once the calf emerges, it can swim immediately, but its mother nudges it to the surface for its first breath, usually within 10 seconds. Little is known about how baleen whale calves are born. Facts about whales. Whales are divided into two main groups. The baleen whales and the toothed whales. Baleen whales have fibrous baleen plates in their mouths instead of teeth which help them filter out huge quantities of krill plankton and crustaceans. Toothed whales have teeth which enable them to feed on larger prey such as fish and squid. Humpback whales don't eat for most of the year. All toothed whales have a melon in their foreheads. It's a mass of tissue which focuses the whale's calls, vital for communication and echolocation. Like bats, they use this echolocation to see. The Antarctic blue whale is the largest animal on the planet. They can consume about 3,600 kilograms of krill a day. That's all for the day, thank you for watching.